guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan, and today I'm going to be discussing the whole Barrett Hayden helmet controversy and everything that's happened. Now, today I want to give my thoughts to a situation that's kind of blew up. In the Russia versus Canada game, captain for Team Canada, Barrett Hayton, was the only player for Team Canada who left his helmet on during the anthem. So, for this whole situation, what do I think of it, and what are my full takeaways? Watch till the end for all the answers, and of course, subscribe if you're new. Now today, I was streaming the Canada vs. Russia game, it was a crazy one, Russia won 6-0, and after the player of the game was announced, I ended the stream, and that was that. I come pretty much two hours later to learn that Barrett Hayton was the lone player on the ice for Canada who kept his helmet on during the anthems. And this is something that is a very, it's a very unique case, in my opinion. Now, to disclaimer here, I am a USA fan. I don't like Canada, I don't like Russia. I don't like either of these two countries when it comes to hockey. But this situation that I think is super fascinating, especially for Russia with Barrett Hayden. Now as a US fan, I'm trying to put as much bias aside here, so keep with me for right now. But when it comes to the World Juniors after every game, whether it be preliminary or the actual quarterfinals, semifinals, and the finals, for both teams, they line up at the blue line after the game, and then the team that won has their flag go up alongside the national anthem. Most of the players, or all the players, are expected to take off their helmets and just sit there and look at the flag, whether you're the team that won or the team that lost. Now, in this instant, Barrett Hayton was the player that had his helmet off during the anthem, while the rest of the team apparently did not. And a lot of the Russian team, apparently Gregory Denisenko, the captain for Team Russia, took real offense to this. And in the handshakes after the fact, there was three straight Russian players that didn't even want to shake his hand. So it's obvious that Team Russia is not exactly too pleased. And there is really two sides to this conversation, and I think I can really take from both sides here. I'm kind of in the middle when it comes to this situation. On one side, it's like, it's not a big deal. He just kept his helmet on during the anthem. It's not like they cursed out the Russian players or anything. But on the other hand, it could be a huge sign of disrespect because taking off the helmets is pretty much a tradition that you do, whether you won or lost. And I can see both sides of the argument. I kind of fought in the middle here, and for one, I don't think Bear Hayden did this on accident. I think he did it on purpose. His 19-year-old mind thought, hey, this is going to be a great idea. I'm going to be sad and salty about this loss, and I'm going to keep my helmet on. And that was the problem there, because when you are the captain for Team Canada, Team Canada's captain, you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. And we saw in last year's World Juniors with Maxime Comtois, I had a huge, real big problem with some of the embellishment that he was doing. And he got a lot of abuse online, which was nowhere near warranted. He, it was just a bad situation, and I feel like this is sort of the same. When you're the captain for Team Canada, regardless of how you feel, there's got to be a lot more respect on his shoulders and a lot more responsibility. And I think some people defending the situation will say, oh, it's just a helmet, it doesn't mean that much. But at the same time, when you have the responsibility of being Team Canada's captain, you got to be a little bit more self-aware than that. you got to be able to focus this all in and try for the next time. And the thing is, is that after the game, he was questioned on he had he was questioned on why he thought the Russian team would not shake his hand, and he said he didn't even know why. It's like that lack of self-awareness, I think, is a really big problem there, especially when you're captaining, again, Team Freaking Canada. There's a lot of responsibility that's on that guy's shoulders, and I know that it wasn't the greatest game, they got absolutely clobbered, but even in that situation, you just don't do that. But the problem here is that I think he's going to get a lot of attention online and in the negative. And I see, I think that honestly might be credible and I think it might be a good reason for that. But at the same time, with how much abuse that Maxime Comtois got for honestly maybe less worse things than what Barrett Hayton did right now, the problem is, is that this is still a 19-year-old kid. These are still teenagers. They're still young kids. I mean, I'm, I'm only like three years younger than Barrett Hayton, and he's still at that age where he will make those kind of mistakes, and that's just what happens. We saw with Lias Anderson in 2017. We saw last year with Maxime Comtois. Some of this stuff is going to happen in these tournaments, and it's unfortunate that it had to happen with Barrett Hayton, a lack of judgment, whatever it might be. It's a situation where I think some of the criticism might might be deserved, but let's not go too far because, again, this guy is still a freaking kid. 
But even if he is still 19 years old, I don't think there should be a lack of criticism because he should know that it is not a good thing to do. It looks like he'll meet with the IIHF, whatever it might be, to solve this issue and actually be aware of what he did because it is still a pretty big deal and obviously it was a huge deal to the Team Russia. It was a huge deal for them. It looked as a big disrespect meant and disrespecting their anthem, which for these kids that are fighting for their country is a huge deal once again. It's a situation that I don't think is clear cut and it's a situation that is a very big gray area, but to me I can see where the criticism comes in Hayton, but I think we should hold back a little bit. It's a situation though that I think is unfortunate and I think should not happen again. Hopefully Bear Hayton learns from this experience and actually gets better. That for me is really all I can hope for. But that'll be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell down. In the comments down below also, let me know what you think about this whole situation. Is it not a big deal? Is it a huge deal? Was it disrespectful? Whatever it might be, all those thoughts down in the comments down below. Share this video, get the word out there about this whole crazy situation. Share this with your friends, whatever it might be. I'm Nathan, and I'll see you on the next video or stream. Goodbye.